after running benchmarks for Ubuntu and Arch-based distributions. It's time for RPM in this video. Let's see what would be the best distributions for gaming between Fedora, OpenSUSE, and Nobada Linux. I will go through my setup process and some benchmarks to see how easy they are for gamers and if there are any good performers. In the last video, I used Plasma as the desktop environment across the board because the official spin of Garuda Linux uses Plasma. In this video, I'll be using GNOME desktop for all three distributions because the official build of Nobada Linux is using GNOME. If you want to see the differences between the major desktop environments, go check out this video. Starting with Fedora, I download the latest build on Fedora official website. And interestingly, the ISO file boots very slowly if I don't set the normal set in the grub menu, which never happened to me with the previous Fedora versions. But after the installation, the booting worked fine. I was able to properly get into the desktop rather quickly. And the issue now is that without NVIDIA driver, the laptop fan is always on and it was burning my hands. With the third party repository turned on during the initial setup, I was able to install NVIDIA driver from the software center. After the system update and the driver installation, the laptop was able to run quietly and cool when idle with relatively fast boot up time. In order to set up the gaming environment, I download the repository file from fathub.org, install bottles, Steam, and Mango Hut. Let's start with Assassin's Creed Origins with Mango Hut. I was getting 24.2 low, 48.11% low, and 72.6 average. With RDR2 running inside bottles, I was getting 26.0.1% low, 35.51% low, and 54.3 average. It's time for OpenSUSE. I download the Tumbleweed version. Like Fedora, the ISO boot up was stuck at the driver loading screen. I had to set the kernel parameter again in the graph to make it pass. I chose GNOME as the desktop environment during the installation process. After the installation, the boot and system update had no issue. Then I followed the OpenSUSE support database to install NVIDIA driver. Originally, I was planning to use the YAS tool, which has GUI to install it. Then I found out SDB page is a bit out of date, that I can't follow it properly. First, the YAS tool goes into a package page that contains several AMD and NVIDIA drivers. It didn't mention which repository they're from. And second, by selecting the NVIDIA package here, it doesn't seem to do anything when I hit next. Third, I can't find the repository button inside the YAS2 GUI, not to mention the community one. So I ended up using the zapper command to install the latest G06 version driver, reboot, and black screen. With the knowledge from the Arch Wiki during the last video, I found this is because normal set is still inside a kernel parameter. Deleting it fixed the issue. A little fun fact, I found I need to change the command to grub 2 mkconfig and the folder name to grub2 in OpenSUSE to make the grub update work. Another thing is that GNOME will go into X11 by default after installing the NVIDIA driver. And I can't find a quick way to switch back to Wayland. So that's that. Like Fedora, OpenSUSE has Flatpak installed by default. So I install Steam, Bottles, and FlatSeal using that. For Assassin's Creed Origins, I was getting 22.7 low, 45.81% low, and 73.8 average. For Red Dead Redemption 2, I got 24.3 low, 35.51% low, and 53.4 average. A final side note before we move on to Nobara. In the previous videos, I mentioned that RDR2 won't start within bottles for non-Wayland desktop. 
and I had to use Lutris to make it work. In the process of making this video, I found out I was able to use soda runner inside bottles instead of GE Proton to start a game in X11. Which seems pretty good because soda is a version of wine from Valve with Proton patches, meaning it should not be too far from the Proton GE that I used before. Finally, it's time for the famous Nobala Linux. Similar issue with the ISO startup stock. Even though all three distributions have different screens, adding normal set in Grub fixed the issue for all of them. Which means the RPM based distribution are more similar than I thought. The difference is that Nobata is also stuck at boot up after the installation. I had to add normal set to the Grub menu again to make it work. Following the guide that popped up after the first time boot up, I did a system update, install video encoder, and set up Flatpak. No more set parent is still needed before NVIDIA is installed for the second time boot up, which will finish the video playback encoder installation. I was also able to install NVIDIA driver with the guided window and got rid of the kernel parameter in Grub eventually. This is the most user friendly process so far. No need to open a browser or search a video driver on a website. The system just worked after that. What surprised me was the benchmark on Assassin's Creed Origins. I was getting 30.09, 0.1% low, which is 24% higher than the Vanilla Fedora and 32.5% bump compared to OpenSUSE. But the average I got was 65.2 which is 11.33% lower than Fedora and 13% lower than OpenSUSE and it maintained a slightly lower number of 1% low at 44.8 than the other two. I couldn't believe the result and also worried about people questioning my data. So I used the native Steam and MangoHa to run it again. I got similar result with 29 0.1% low. 44.7 1% low and 64.5 average. This is way better than the other two distributions data. So I had high hope going over to Red Dead Redemption 2, which gave me 26 as the 0.1% low, 34.5 1% low and 52.5 as the average. Looks like the glorious Agros Linux won't help a lot with his own Proton GE. And that probably also means the improvement for gaming has already included in his Proton GE. And that's it. If you want the easiest gaming setup in RPM category, Nobara is definitely the number one. Although it does not have as many gaming related applications out of the box like Garuda does, it for sure beats the other two distributions in the RPM realm. It has a hand holding startup guide for NVIDIA and video codec. Fedora is second. It's fairly easy to use the software center which has a GUI to set up NVIDIA driver. And OpenSUSE comes last due to the little confusing knowledge base wiki page. The requirement for users to go online and search for solutions and the fact it doesn't have an easy way of switching back to WLAN after NVIDIA is installed. Performance wise, Nobara also takes the crown here. Given that 0.1% low is a very critical benchmark used by the benchmarking industry on YouTube. Good job, Mr. Agro. You are quite glorious. And that is all for this video. Let me know in the comment below on which distribution you use for gaming every day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.